Hi everyone, it's Meher and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to be doing it on books to read for the hashtag aesthetic because these books that I've chosen are beautiful both inside and out so let's just get right into it. So I'm going to begin with Heidi. Um, this, the publisher is Penguin but they've collaborated with the Rifle Paper Company for the covers and uh, Anna Bond is the illustrator and look how pretty it is like I love the gold over here and like the roses around and the mountains over here it's beautiful and on the inside there's like these little drawings all done by Anna Bond which I find really really pretty and it's an amazing read obviously and um, Puffin and the uh, Rifle Paper Company have worked together to make a lot like that like the little princess again with the illustrations Little Women, it's quite a tome, but an amazing read. And Anne of Green Gables. I really like this one because of the blue. I love blue. And this is such a calming color to look at. And again, it's got the really gorgeous illustrations on the inside. So um, these series are really fun to read and, and they look amazing. The next one I want to move on to is um, there's this publishing company called Persephone. Um, and they basically they have these sort of they, they, their books have this gray very smooth textured covers and it's really satisfying to look at and hold um, this one this book is Flush a biography so Flush is the name of this dog and it's told through his perspective it's really sweet it's by Virginia Woolf and comparatively less darker than the other books that she writes but the thing that I wanted to show you guys was this, like the cover of each book from this publishing company is different and they give a little bookmark with it, which has a personalized summary. Actually, it's not really a summary, it's more of an excerpt from the book. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, there we go. So it's got an excerpt from the book and it matches the cover and each cover is different. So it's very personalized. I love the series, not only because of like, the space gray and the smooth texture but also because of this and I love using these bookmarks okay next one is Norse Mythology by Neil G uh, Gaiman on the inside it's just like regular stories but the stories are amazing and I personally love Norse Mythology but I just want to show you the cover like look at Thor's hammer look at Mjolnir it, it's so gorgeous and there's stars on the on the background and even the gold of the spine is so it, you just look at this book and you know that it's about something important like somebody powerful so I love this series and just looking at it is really fun and the stories are also amazing okay now we're moving on to the slightly larger books so Okay, um, this is actually an encyclopedia, which encyclopedias are meant to be pretty, but this one just takes it to a whole new level. Like, look at the cover. Like, look at that shine. Dang. Okay, so um, this what this is an encyclopedia about oceans because I'm partial because I want to be a marine biologist when I grow up and stuff like that. But this is one of my personal favorite pages because it's got corals and jellyfish on it and. I <laughs> And I love the black background of these pages and like the gorgeous pictures and it's color coordinated. So each chapter sort of the in the like each chapter has a different color. Like this is on the geography of this is more about oceanography. This is more about like marine biology and you can tell by color. So I, I love this. this is like my personal favorite encyclopedia. Okay, the next one is the Harry Potter series, but the illustrated Harry Potter series. This one is The Prison of Azkaban, and there you have the night bus in the front, just after Harry seen Sirius Black, and then he like puts out his wand arm and the night bus comes in. And this is one of my favorite pages. It's Harry and Ron looking for pets at, um, oh god, what was the pet shop name? I forgot. Fake fan. But anyway... Um, this is them and I think they were looking for a treatment for scabbers. Yeah, they were looking for a treatment for scabbers. But look at the paintings like, uh, oh, and this one too. It's got, it's so gorgeous. I love the paintings in it. And they're not on every page. So you'll be reading and then suddenly you'll just like come across something like that. And there's like these small illustrations in the middle of the pages as well, which I find really sweet. And 
of course, I mean, the story is amazing. So I love this edition of the Harry Potter series and I suggest everybody pick it up and I can't wait for them to release Goblet of Fire because Goblet of Fire is going to be amazing. Like, I can't wait to see how they do the dragons and stuff. Okay, this one's my personal favorite. It's called The Lost Words. And it's basically a book of poetry, kind of. And the illustrations are amazing. Like, okay. This is the poem, this is the illustration, and then they've got like two full pages of illustrations for this poem. Like this one, one's about magpies, and look at this. How gorgeous is that? And then it's like, it's like follows a pattern, and then you've got like the title of the next poem. This one's about newts. I love this color. And then you've got like a full two page illustration. I, I would suggest this book just to like, if you need something to read like one evening and you're in a particularly whimsical mood, like this is the one to go for. I love this book. Anyway, so those are my favorite books to read, not only for the aesthetic, but also for the amazing content inside. And um, if you like this video, then like it, I guess. Uh, and um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.